Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for joining us for Max Prep's Off Sours Coach Admin Basics. My name is Haley Hughes, and we have with us Aaron Hendricks today as well. We are both coach support, customer service supervisors, um, and we're here to hopefully make your job as easy as possible with getting everything situated on Max Prep. We wanted to let you guys know today that you will be muted throughout the webinar. So please, as you saw, um, or you may have seen Aaron use the chat function, um, the chat feature, I'm sorry, um, in the uh, Zoom chat. So if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please use that chat box um, on Zoom, or you can use the Q&A feature as well. We'll do our best to answer the questions as we go. If we don't get to them as we're going, uh, we will have time at the end to address any questions that you may have. Um, we'll also be sending out a recording of this webinar in an email um, to all that registered once we're done. So look out for that email in a few hours once we're finished here this morning. Um, so first things first, let's learn a little bit about Max Preps. Max Preps was created in a small town in California in 2002 by a local high school basketball coach who was looking for a better way to get his team recognition in lo the local media. So we were founded in 2002. We just had our 20 year anniversary. Um, that's awesome. Um, our founder made it our goal to celebrate the institution of high school sports and recognize that for so many young people that this will be the pinnacle of their careers. And the memories that they make playing high school sports will be some of the best of their lives. That being said, we aim to cover every team, every player, and every game, no matter the size of the school or popularity of the sport. We have about 50 employees or so. A vast majority of us are athletes or coaches, former athletes or coaches. Um, all of our customer service team is operated in-house by a team of about eight people, including myself. So when you give us a call, you can talk to a real-life person who knows and cares a whole lot about Max Press and the high school sports community. So our goal today, our goal today are to walk through the essentials for a coach. So that's how to gain access, how to get to your admin pages, what the best ways are to enter a roster, schedule, or score. We'll also cover how to share information on data syncing with Huddle, Game Changer, and more. Walk through the public pages for your team, and again, answer any questions you may have. So a reminder, we may have had a few that joined us late. You guys will be muted throughout the webinar, so please use the Q&A box or the chat box to ask any questions as we go. Again, we'll do our best to answer them um, as we're going. If we don't get to them, we will have time at the end to answer any questions you may have. So getting started, this is Max Prep 101. Um, these slides that we're going through, we'll go through pretty quickly. The, uh, just to get to the live demo. The live demo is where I'll show you how to do everything that you are seeing in these slides. Um, so first things first, you'll want to sign up with Max Press if you haven't already done so. Um, then you'll get logged in. Um, you'll see when you log in, if you click on your profile icon in the upper right hand corner, which is going to be your home base for every Max Preps page, you'll see a little profile icon. It's this uh, circle with a person inside of it. If you click on that in the upper right hand corner of any page on Max Preps, you'll be able to access your admin accounts as well as manage your profile. So what you see here on the very right side of your screen is when you click on your profile icon the first time, you should see this flyout menu with your first and last name and sign out, any team you already have access to, and then any team you're following right below that. And it's important to know any team that you have access to, you'll automatically be following. So you should see them in both sections here. To the left, this is your um, where you go to manage your profile. So if you need to change your password and so on, um, this is where you'll do so. This is also where you'll go to get access to any team or remove access. And again, I'll show you how to do all of this in the live demo here. This is just a quick overview. Um, so to get to this, page that you see here, your membership profile page. You'll just want to click on your profile icon, which will give you this flyout menu on the right. And then if you click on it one more time, you'll get to your membership account profile page where you can update your membership information. 
So inside your coach admin, inside your coach admin, you can edit your rosters, schedules, scores, stats, and data syncing. So um, from what you see on this screen here is your coach admin dashboard. So when you click into your admin account, you should land on this page that you see here. Um, so again, this is where you'll get quick links to your rosters and schedules to be able to update them. You have full control over your scores um, from your admin account, as well as entering your stats. And if you do sync with uh, Huddle or Game Changer, you will be able to see that information in your admin account as well. So it's important to know when you edit any of that information in your coach admin account, it may take 15 to 30 minutes to update on the public side. So the difference between public fan pages and your coach admin, the public fan pages are what uh, athletes, fans, parents, anybody goes to see your team's page. This is what they're looking at. Um, so you'll see if you're logged into your coach admin account, you'll see this admin report up at the top, no matter what. Um, but the public fan page is what you see below. So this is, you're unable to edit the information on this page. This is just what the fans see. So this is where you can also go to get your league link to view your athlete pages, to look at your rankings, your standings, and also go look at opposing team schedules. So you have quick links from your admin account into your um, public pages. So you'll see here, we're in the public pages. If we go back a slide, you can actually click to um, back to public and view as public, which can be found on most of your admin account pages. Um, and that will get you to where you can view it as a fan. Um, so you can see what your fans are looking at. But again, just remember, if you did go edit something in your admin account, it typically will take about 15 to 30 minutes to show up on the public side. So if you're not seeing it there quite yet, uh, just give it a little bit of time and you should be able to find it there. With that being said, we'll head into our live demo. I just wanna take a quick pause. Um, if anyone had any questions so far, um, again, feel free to use the chat box or Q&A box as we go. Aaron will do his best to answer those. Um, and if we don't get to any, we will have time at the end. Um, so first things first, if you wanna pull up your um, Max Preps account, you can follow along, no need to. Um, again, we'll be sending out a recording of this um, following the webinar. So first things first, you'll head to maxpreps.com. This is the homepage for Max Preps. Uh, you'll see a sign in button in the upper right hand corner. So if you don't see that, you should see a profile icon. The profile icon means you're already signed in, so you can skip this step. Um, so you want to click sign in. And if you are looking to get another coach or a statistician, whoever access to your team, um, if they haven't already done so, they can create an account from this page as well. So enter your email and password, you'll get signed in, and it'll take you right back to your Max Preps homepage. But if you remember from the slides, your profile icon in the upper right hand corner is your home base. It should be on every single Max Preps page. So if you click on that, this little flyout menu should look familiar. Um, it should have your first and last name up at the top as well as sign out. And you should see the profile icon up at the top where you can click into your membership account profile. But underneath sign out, you should see any teams that you already have access to listed here. And any teams that you already have access to will also be following. So down below is the teams that you are following. Um, we'll cover that here in a little bit as well. So if we head into our membership account profile page, we'll click on our profile icon here. And your membership profile is where you can go to edit your account info. So if you need to change your password, change your email, or change any of the information specific to your Max Preps membership account, you can do so from this little box here. Below it, you'll find communication preferences. If we click on the pencil icon next to that, 
We do suggest that coaches and athletic directors remain um, toggled on to get these reminders. Um, it's just a great way to receive information about your team or other teams or information that Max Preps wants to get out to our coaches. So that's just a good thing to have on there. Uh, it's just a monthly reminder um, for our coaches. If we head over to following, you'll click on the pencil icon next to following and you'll get a list of all the teams that you are following. So do you favorite or follow a team? That means mostly in the Max Preps app, you're going to be getting notifications, um, which you can toggle on and off, notifications for your favorite team, which is a great way to get updates on their scores, their rankings, and so on. So if you wanted to stay up to date on another team, this is a great tool to use. Um, so you go here and you can enter any team. You can also go to a team page and there should be a follow button. So if you click that, you should be able to come back here and see the team listed here. Um, to remove any teams you no longer want to be following, you can click the checkbox next to any of their names and scroll down and click to remove them. Um, so if, again, if you no longer want to receive notifications, you no longer want to be following this team, you can go here, click the checkbox and click to remove the team from your favorite. We head back, uh, so we'll head to the My Access box. So this is the most important box. Um, if you're looking to get admin access, remove admin access, and so on. Um, so you'll click the pencil icon, and if you see any school listed here, you already have access to that school and that team. Um, so if you no longer need access to that school or team, you can click the checkbox similar to the teams that you're following and click to remove them, and that'll remove your access to that team. If you're looking to gain access to a team, if you've join a new school or you're a new coach, uh, you'll want to click the either this little blue plus button here, or you can click to request access from here. This will take you to a screen where you fill out uh, the information required, which will send in a admin access request to us at support at Max Prep. That should take no longer than 24 hours to be approved. Um, so once that does get approved, you'll head back over here and you should see your team listed here. So again, give it about 24 hours if you are requesting access and then you should be able to see this listed here. So next, um, we'll head into our admin account. So there's two ways to get there. You can click into your admin account from your membership account page by clicking on the team name from here. But if you remember, your profile icon is on every single Max Preps page and has the quick links there as well. So if you click on your profile icon, you should see the team you're looking for if you have access to them listed here. And you'll just click on that and that will take you straight into your coach admin account. So this is your dashboard. If you haven't logged in in a while, this may look new to you. We've changed things around a little bit. Um, this is a great place to go to get all of your team's information in one spot. Um, so if you're looking for a quick overview of what's going on with your team, this is a great place to go. Um, so first you'll see in your admin report, your schedule. So if you have games already listed on your schedule, you'll see that here. Um, again, it's just a quick place to go to get a, a snapshot of what is going on with your team. So we have six di district games. So if that doesn't sound quite right to you, you can head to your schedule page by clicking the pencil icon here, and you should be able to see uh, what games are already listed on your schedule and edit it from there. Um, if you are using Huddle, uh, we do have a Syncing with Huddle webinar scheduled for tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we'll go into a little detail um, in this webinar about Huddle, but um, if you do have specific Huddle questions, we do have another webinar tomorrow at 11 a.m. And if you get registered, if, even if you can't make it, 
we will send out a recording of that. Um, so I will shoot uh, you guys the sign up registration for Thinking with Huddle webinar that is for tomorrow um, following this webinar in the email. <laughs> um, so if you are interested in that, I will send that out so you have that um, in your back pocket. Um, but again, just a quick snapshot. So if you've played games already, this is a great place to look to see if what's up to date on your schedule. Uh, same thing goes for roster. You'll see this team has 131 players. It is football, but that may not be quite right. We see there's only 34 players with jersey numbers, which is a little bit of a red flag um, for a coach. So you just want to go in there. Um, you can click the pencil icon here, which will take you right into the roster where you can edit that information. So again, it's just a great, great place to go um, to see if anything needs updating for your team. Um, same thing for staff. So if you have, if you're seeing more staff members here than should be on here, uh, you may want to click on the pencil icon. This is uh, the staff members that have access to your team. So you'll, you'll also be able to see the last time they logged in here as well. Um, to the right, this is a new feature we've added. Um, so similar to just editing the staff down here, you can add a team admin from this as well. But below this is volunteer requests. So we know coaches, don't always have the time to get everything updated on max preps. And sometimes it's easier to offload onto a trusted statistician, a trusted parent. Um, we know sometimes you need help. Um, so we've added this feature um, as an option for coaches to allow volunteer statistician requests. So um, if you're looking for help with getting your stats updated, with getting your team updated on max preps, you can leave this check this box checked um, and that will allow anyone that comes to your team's page on Max Preps to request to be a volunteer for the team to update their information. Um, this is completely controlled by you as a coach. So no one will get access to your team without your approval. Um, you would see if there, you do have this checked you would get an email notification as well as the, the um, approval or denial here under volunteer request settings. Um, if you don't want this option at all for your team, you can always check it off and uh, that will turn off the request for this season uh, for volunteers. So this is just a cool option that we've added. I just wanted to highlight that. Um, it just allows for a little bit of offloading of your work. We know you guys are super busy. Um, so that's a great tool to use if you do want to. Um, below that, if you are the coach of a varsity team, you have the control of the JV and freshman teams as well. So you'll see here, this football team, this varsity football team does not have, or the school does not have a JV and freshman football team. Um, but as a varsity coach, if you did have a JV team and it doesn't look activated, you have the option to turn on and activate the team from your dashboard. Um, so again, that's for varsity coaches, JV and freshmen, you won't have that ability, um, but varsity coaches, you can toggle that off and edit the JV and freshman team information as well from here. So let's head into the roster first. So if we click roster from up here, it'll take you to the same place if you click the pencil icon down here at players. So you'll see the roster snapshot that is on the dashboard up here at the top to just give you a quick overview of what's going on on this page. Um, if you're looking to add athletes to your roster, if you're looking to add a full roster, I would suggest using the quick add option. The quick add option um, is a great tool. It's almost like an Excel sheet um, where you'll have anybody that's already listed on your roster listed here. And if you scroll all the way down, I know this is a big team. Um, if you scroll all the way down, you'll have the option to add more um, entries 
So you can toggle through using your tab key um, to enter athlete one by one through the quick add tool. Uh, so that's a great option if you're adding a full roster um, and you don't wanna add each athlete one by one. So if we go back to the roster page, I apologize, my computer is being a little slow today. Um, but if you click the quick add, that's a great way to use or great tool to use when you're adding a full roster. If you were just say adding one or two athletes, I would use that add button. Um, you get their full information, same thing. You click save and add another if you're adding multiple or save if you're just adding that one athlete. Um, this is a little more in depth for each athlete. Uh, so that's why I say quick add tends to be better if you're adding multiple athletes. Um, if you're looking to import your roster, you'll wanna click these three vertical dots right above the add sign and click upload roster. So it's important to note that um, to upload your roster to Max Preps, you have to have these specified column headers as well as these accepted values. Um, in your CSV template. So you can download the CSV template and fill out the um, athlete information from there, uh, whatever works best for you. Um, but you'll just wanna make sure that you have these required column headers. They're titled exactly the same as this. And then uh, values are the same over here. So a lot of the time we'll get rosters with the class year of 2025, um, when in reality, it needs to be 9 through 12, pretty much. So ninth grade, freshman, 10th, and so on. Um, so that's where a lot of confusion goes. Um, just make sure that when you're uploading, you have all these values and column headers, and then you should be able to import without any problem. Um, if you are connected to Huddle, um, again, I would suggest if you are connected with Huddle and having any issues or questions, um, check out our Thinking with Huddle webinar tomorrow at 11. But um, if you are using Huddle, you'll see if we click this checkbox here and click show more, you'll see which athletes are connected to Huddle. Um, and you'll see that by this little Huddle icon next to each athlete. Um, so. Huddle rosters override Max Preps rosters. So if you have any issues with your roster on Max Preps, I would suggest looking at your roster on Huddle and making sure that your public roster is completely up to date and exactly how you want it on Max Preps because that public roster on Huddle is what synced over to Max Preps. Again, if there are any specific questions about that, um, I'm happy to answer those. Erin will also answer those in the chat. Um, but if you do want more specifics on Huddle, feel free to join us for the webinar tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so once you've added your athletes, if you are looking to manage your staff and who has access to your team, you'll wanna click on the staff tab under the roster. Um, you should see here, anybody that does have access to your team will be listed here. So if you do need to remove anybody, you can click the pencil icon next to their name and click delete, and that will remove their access from the team. Um, you can do that for anybody. If you need to add anybody and grant them access to the team, you can do so from here as well by clicking the add button. You fill out this information, make sure you use an email. If they already have a Max Prep membership account, of course, they can make a new one with a new email, but if they want to use that email, make sure that's the email you're entering here. So this email is the email they're going to use to log into Max Preps with and what they'll have admin access to their team with. So, so just click the add button, fill out this information, and that will automatically grant them access to the team. So heading to the schedule. So if we click on schedule up here at the top, Again, you'll see your schedule snapshot at the top that you, see, that you saw on your uh, admin dashboard. If you're looking to add games to your schedule, you'll want to click the add button up at the top. You'll fill out the information. 
the date, the time, the type. So this may be different depending on what state you're in. So you may have district, league, conference, whatever it may be. You'll want to change that up here. Um, and then home, away, or neutral. When you get to the opponent box, if you're typing in a district opponent, if you click in the box, you should see all of your district teams listed here. If you don't see the correct teams or if there are no teams listed there, uh, you may want to get your league corrected. And I will show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Um, but for now, if you are trying to get that game on your schedule and you're still not seeing the district teams listed in this drop down menu, you can actually search non district opponents by scrolling all the way down and clicking search non district opponent. This will pull up any nearby teams. So if you start typing in, Um, your opponent name and you're still not seeing them come up, you can click to expand search results and that should pull up the correct team for you. Um, I know a lot of the time we have schools that are outside of your state that you're trying to play that are not coming up. So again, just look for that search for non-district or expand search results and that should get to where you wanna go. Um, for the correct school. If you're still not finding your school listed there, you can always list them as a varsity opponent and that will get the game on your schedule and allow you to put it in score and stats while we get that school added to our system. Um, so to get a school added to our system, they just need to fill out a new school form. So if you're having a hard time finding a school on our site, you can always put them in as a varsity opponent and um, let them know that they can fill out a new school form in order to get added to our site. Um, so we'll just add this as a varsity opponent. Oh, I apologize. Outside of the dates. So let's do we're outside of the dates. <laughs> so it looks like we're um, you're getting this error because you're not allowed to schedule contests between certain dates for the state association. So in Texas, you're this, uh, this, the season, I apologize, um, doesn't start till the 26th. So that's why you're getting that error. Um, so again, if you added, add a game, you should be able to come back here to your schedule and um, see that game listed there. If you need to remove a game for any reason, you can do so by clicking the pencil icon next to the game and delete game. Or if you click on the checkbox next to the date and time, you can go up here to the delete button as well. If you're unable to delete a game, it's more than likely due to the fact that either you or the other team entered stats for that game. And so you'll need to contact SMX Prep um, in order to get that game removed since it does have stats in it. Um, so if that's the case, you can always reach out to us. You'll have our phone number. I'll, um, it's listed on the slide. So once we go back to the slides, our phone number will be on there. You can give us a call or reach out to us, support at maxpreps.com. And we are more than happy to get that game removed for you. Scrimmages don't belong on your schedules as those will reflect on your rankings and overall record. So uh, we don't have a feature quite yet for scrimmage. So we don't have that option. So in the meantime, we just ask that you don't enter the scrimmages on your schedule. Um, so again, if you need to remove any of those, you can do so from your admin here. So as I said, um, if you're not seeing the correct team listed in your district or um, you're not listed in the correct district at all, uh, you can update that information. You'll send in a league alignment request correction, uh, correction request to us at support um, and you can get there either by scrolling all the way up to the top and clicking on what looks like your region here um, underneath your schedule games and district games you should have the name of your league listed here and you'll click on the pencil icon next to that in order to get that updated you can also go to the more tab at the top and you should see the same thing um, your league listed or your district listed alignment and you'll click on that 
It'll take you to the same page as if you were to click the pencil icon here. And um, you should see the option to add or remove teams to the league, as well as change your league if it's completely wrong. Um, so this is a great place to go if your district or conference league is not looking correct. Um, you can actually get that updated yourself here. Uh, you can always shoot us an email, support at maxpreps.com, if that doesn't look quite right as well. If you're not seeing your league listed at all, um, feel free to shoot us an email and we're more than happy to get that updated for you. So that way you can see the correct teams when you're trying to schedule your games. So let's go back to the schedule page. Um, so once the game has been played, once the game date and time has passed, you'll have the option to enter a score. So where you see the preview button will be an enter score option. So you'll see on the pencil icon, it's grayed out right now only because the date and time haven't passed. But once the date and time has passed, you'll be able to click enter score and um, your score will automatically be posted. So again, fans are allowed to submit scores from the public page. So if the score isn't already up there, they can submit a score and that goes through an approval process with us here at support at Max Preps. Um, but again, coaches have full control over scores. So if you're looking and you're seeing the incorrect score reported, you can go in and come to your schedule page, click the pencil icon and edit the score that's already listed here. Um, and that will also, once the score is entered, uh, there will not be an option to report a score for that game anymore for fans. So as a coach, once you get that score in, you can rest easy um, knowing that a fan won't be reporting a score um, once you get that score entered. So let's head back to the 20. 122 season so I can show you um, what it looks like to enter stats for a team. Um, so to get back to any previous season, um, you can do so by clicking this drop down menu in the upper left hand corner. And if you are a varsity coach and your JV and freshman teams are active on Max Prep, you can actually click this level button and you'll see JV and freshmen that you can click on to go to their team page and manage that team as well. So again, if you're a varsity coach, you have the ability to manage your JV and freshman team from here also. Um, but if you're looking to go back to previous seasons, you wanna edit information for previous seasons. If you click on this drop down menu, you'll see any season the team was active on Max Prep. Um, and you'll be able to get there by clicking on that and go to page. So now we're back in the 21-22 season. Um, so this was last fall. So if we go to the schedule page, you'll see here that stats are missing for these last two games. Um, so again, this is what it looks like when all the scores are entered. Once the score is entered, the enter score button will go away and you'll see enter stats. So you can get there from many different places. Um, so if you click on the pencil icon, you can click to enter stats. If you click on enter stats below the box score, you can get to the same place, as well as just clicking on the missing stats button uh, right underneath the game. I also wanna point out up at the top, this is a great place to go if you're curious about what needs updating on your schedule. Um, so again, these are just quick links to get to where you need to go to enter stats. So if we're missing a score and stats, you'd see both those listed here. Um, but since we're just missing stats for these two games, that's what you see. Um, so clicking add stats will get you to the same place as if you scroll down and you click on missing stats um, from underneath the game. So we'll click on missing stats. And that should take you into where you see um, the box score. So if you are connected to Huddle, this is where you'll see if you're a football team, you'll have a big Huddle box listed here that says to continue and review this file if you've sent the file over 
um, from Huddle. So if you're a game changer, if you're a softball uh, coach here, you'll also see a game changer box here if your team is connected to game changer in order to get those stats over. Um, so again, if you have any specific questions about your sync with Huddle, we have a webinar on that tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And then if you do have any questions, um, about your game changer sync. If we do have any softball coaches on, um, feel free to reach out to me when I send the recording of this webinar. And I'm more than happy to shoot you the recording of the Syncing with Game Changer webinar that we had earlier this year already. Um, but that being said, so when you click on missing stats, you get to the box score page here. Um, it should look a little different for each sport depending on have quarters, and so on. Um, a lot of teams may only have just one stat category. Um, obviously, for football, we have offensive, defensive, special teams, and scoring. Um, so if you scroll down this page, if you're looking to import your stats, um, you'll want to click Save and Import Stats. So this is where you'll want to go if um, you are using one of our stat partners and you want to import uh, the stat file from that stat partner. So this is the place to do it. You'll click choose file, choose the file from your computer and import. If you have any questions at all about uh, what stat partners we have or if the application you're using is a stat partner with Max Prep, you can come to official Max Prep stat partners. If you uh, come to your stat page, you can get that here. Or if you just type that in Google, um, you'll get the list of our official Max Prep stat partners. Um, it's by sport, so it's pretty organized. Um, if you click on your sport, you should see any stat partner that we are affiliated with there. Um, and again, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to us, and we're more than happy to take a look and make sure that the uh, stat program you're using will sync with us. So that's how to import your stats. Let's go back to the box four page. Um, to manually enter your stats, you'll click save and enter stats at the bottom of the box four page. And that should take you to where you see your whole roster listed to the left. So every player that's on your roster should be listed here. Um, so if you need to add anybody, you don't see them here, they need to be added to your roster. Um, and this is where you'll enter the information for each category, publish and continue. So if you're a football team, you'll want to click publish and continue to toggle over um, to the different categories. And once you get there, um, so we finished all of our stats and then we click publish and continue one last time. You should be able to enter a player of the game. The Player of the Game Awards are just a great way to get kids some recognition. Um, you'll see here, so for football, again, we have um, multiple players of the game. Most uh, sports will have just one player of the game where you select the player from a drop down menu. This is your roster. And you can add comments and save that, and that will show up on um, their athlete career profile. So they'll get a certificate and a digital badge on their career profile. So it's a pretty cool way just to give some recognition to your team. Um, if you're not entering stats, but you want to enter a play of the game, you can also get there from the more tab up at the top and click players of the game. Um, same thing for player of the year. It's just a cool tool um, we have. So you can enter your player of the year. This will go on their Max Prep's career profile page, um, and as well as the team's page. So this is just a cool tool to use for um, getting kids recognition. So once you enter your stats, you should be able to come back here. And if you're curious as to whether or not stats were entered for a certain game, you can click the show more button underneath the game and you'll see that your team entered stats and your opponent's team entered stats. So if you're curious about any of that, you can click the show more underneath each um, scheduled game. Or if you want to click all of them to show more, you can click that checkbox up at the top and click show more. And it's just a quick view of where you're at with your team stats.
So as I said earlier, um, to get to your public page, you have many options on most of your admin pages. You can click view as public or go to public page, and it should take you to the public side of um, whatever page you're on. So I just click go to public on the schedule page. It doesn't look like much has changed, but if you scroll down below, you're unable to edit any information on this page and you'll see it from the view of athletes, fans, parents, whoever is coming to your team's page, you'll see how they're seeing uh, the team's page from the public side. Um, so again, the, up in the upper right hand corner, you can click go to admin on any schedule page. If you go to your roster page, You'll also have the option to go back to your admin. Um, so again, this is just a quick view. If you're looking to get to an athlete profile page, um, you'll want to go to the public roster. And if you click on their name, it will take you to their career profile. Um, so if you're curious about a player's career stats, if you click on their sport, um, I know a lot of coaches want to see their overall career stats. We get a lot, if you're reaching your thousand shot uh, for basketball, we come to the career page and you can see all of um, the points you scored and so on. Um, but again, to get there, you'll just click on the sport from their career profile page and you can click, it should automatically take you to their career, but you can see individual years and all of their sports for, or all of their stats, I'm sorry for each game um, through their career profile page. We go back. Keep in mind, if anything is updated on the admin side, it will take about 15 to 30 minutes to update on the public page. Um, so again, if you're not seeing it quite yet, give it up a little bit of extra time you're still not seeing it, feel free to give us a call. Um, but again, it's just a little bit of a cash delay for that. Um, so here again is your schedule page. You can click to, as an admin, only you see this admin report up at the top. You can click into your admin straight from the public page as well. Um, and it'll take you right into your admin where you can edit this information that is missing for the team. Um, if you have, are curious about your standings or rankings, you'll come to the public page in order to get there. So you'll click up at the top, it's standings and rankings. It'll give you the full list of your standings and rankings. Um, certain states use different rankings. So again, your ranking specific to your team will be listed on your team's page once uh, rankings are published. So. Um, it's early on the season, so a lot of teams may not have this rankings button quite yet. Um, but once your rankings are published, you should get this rankings button as well as the standings button. And with that being said, um, I believe I covered everything. Erin, if you... Um, had any questions in the chat that you wanted me to cover or if there's anything I missed, um, feel free to let me know. But I believe um, that is the end of our webinar. So I know I kind of ran through everything pretty quickly. Uh, we'll be sending out a recording of this uh, once we're done here. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to respond to that email and I'm more than happy to get those questions answered. You can also reach us Monday through Friday. We're in office 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. You can reach us at this phone number. It's 1-800-324-7329, extension one. Or uh, you can check out our support site. We've kind of revamped our support site. Um, Aaron's been working really hard on that and it should get you to where you need to go and get those questions answered. So if um, you want to check that out, go ahead. Um, if you that doesn't answer your question, give us a call. And our email is also support at maxpreps.com. Um, so if you do have any questions or concerns, feel free to always give us a call or shoot us an email. We're more than happy to get you the help that you need. Um, okay, so 
I'm going to open it up to questions. Um, it looks like we had one here that asked, what is the best way to search for a high school team not in your city to see their schedule? Uh, yeah, so if you exit it out of here, um, we'll go back to Max Prep. So let's just go back to the Max Prep homepage. Um, so this is when you first log in, uh, what you'll see. So if you click this magnifying glass up at the top of the screen next to your profile icon, you can search for any team, type in their name, click search, and it should pull up um, any team that has remotely the same name uh, listed here. Um, so you should be able to find the school by just clicking on that magnifying glass and typing in their name. Um, and that will bring you to the school page. So you can either click to go to the school's page or if you know which team you're looking for, uh, you can click on teams and it'll have the list of the active teams that have been at that school on Max Prep um, listed there. And you can click to view that information for any level that we have listed from here. So I hope that answers your question. Um, it looks like we got another question. Where can we find the link to the Max Prep Huddle webinar tomorrow? I will shoot that um, link, the registration link for that out in the email that I send with the recording of this webinar. So look out for that registration link. I'll send that email out here in the next hour or two. Um, and you guys can get signed up. If you can't make it tomorrow at 11 a.m., same thing as this, we'll, as long as you get registered, we'll shoot out a recording um, to everyone that did register, whether you made it or not. Um, so that way you can take a look at it at your earliest convenience. All right, I know the chat is not the easiest always to type out in. Um, so if you are still typing, feel free to keep going. Um, if you have any more questions, um, type away and I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, if you think of anything later, again, reply to my email with the recording and I'm more than happy to help you out with anything you can think of um, in between now and then. Um, but I'll give you guys a few minutes. So if you do have any questions, keep typing. Um, if not, I just want to thank you guys all for joining us. I hope you found this helpful. Um, we're just doing our best here to make it as easy for you guys as possible. So if you have any questions or concerns at all throughout the season, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We're more than happy to help you guys. Looks like we got a question. Um, how would you suggest entering sectional or tournament games that you have as TBA? Is there a way to have it show the event on the schedule instead of TBA? Um, so that's a great question. Um, Aaron, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think the best way to enter a tournament game, so if you're talking sectional, we tend to just hold off on putting those on the schedule um, first just waiting until you get that opponent. Um, you can always put it as a filler um, for TBA. Um, a TBA game, you can put in the opponent as TBA. There's an option to do that. So let me, if I go to schedule page really quickly, let me show you how you can do that. Um, so if you enter a game and you're looking to enter, you don't know the date, the time, or the opponent, um, you can click here and that should save the game um, as an opponent TBA. Obviously everything is TBA here and that just holds the spot for the game. Um, that's just a placeholder if you want it. Uh, you don't need to necessarily put that um, game on your schedule yet. Once we get to the district tournaments, you can enter that. Um, that's just totally up to you how you want to do that. But um, this, will show as an opponent TBA, um, no matter what, unfortunately we don't have the event option um, similar to the scrimmage feature. We are looking to get that added to where 
Um, it looks a little prettier on your schedule. And so you can have all the information that you have for your season on your team's page. Um, so that's something noted. Um, we're definitely looking to get that added in the future, but for now, um, this would be the best way to enter the game on your schedule if you're looking to do that. Looks like we got another question about finding teams using zip codes. Does your database use zip codes to find teams not in your city? Um, so great question. If you're typing in zip codes um, using our search feature, so let me go back to our homepage, clicking here, we'll enter a team. Um, so if you're looking, so we're just looking to enter a zip code here. Um, you should get any team that is in that zip code listed there. Um, it looks like I just entered um, my own zip code and it's not quite looking like it's working right. So um, Oscar, I appreciate you that bringing that to our attention. Um, it should typically, the way it should work is if you enter the zip code, um, it should populate with any school that has that zip code listed in their school address. Um, so if you're not seeing a team listed there, it could be that they have the incorrect zip code as well. Um, obviously, it looks like this isn't working quite right. So I'll let our tech team know once um, we finish this webinar, I'll let them know that this isn't looking like it's working quite right. But typically, it should pull any team that has that zip code in their address, and you should be able to get a full list there. Um, and again, when it's working properly, if you're still not getting the correct school listed there, it could be that their address is listed incorrectly. So I would double check that. Um, and if that is the case, we're more than happy to get that updated for you. Just reach out to us. Um, but if that isn't the case, it could be a bigger problem looking like um, this, how this is not pulling quite the right schools here. So. Um, I appreciate you bringing that to our attention, Oscar. We will get that fixed um, as soon as possible. And I will let our tech team know once we get off this call that that is not quite working how it should. Um, so thank you. Um, and if anyone else has any questions, uh, please, again, feel free to use um, or shoot me an email back once I send out that recording email. Again, I'll include the huddle registration link on that email. So if you're curious or interested in that, um, you'll get that registration link. And um, I just want to thank you guys again for all your thoughtful questions. Um, and if you have any, feel free to reach out to us throughout the season. Thank you so much for your time. Um, we appreciate all the questions that were asked. And we hope you have a great season. Good luck.